Hey guys, Cindy Williams here, travel career coach from careersonvacation.com. How's everyone doing today? So we wanted to do a quick video on summertime. We're about to head into summer, which means the kids are home, which makes you busier if you are a part-time or full-time work from home uh, mom or dad or travel agent, travel owner. Things can get a little crazy. So I wanted to talk through how do you prep for your schedule to make sure you're balancing family time, vacation time, business time? So I want to give you my best tips. First and foremost, be clear about what's most important in your life. Hopefully family should be at the top of that list. You know, family and vacations, right? Like that's always number one. No, but seriously, figure out when you want your family time to be. So depending on your kid's ages and what structure you have set up for summer, what you're thinking about setting up for summer, decide when you're going to spend time together and protect that time. Like protect, protect it ferociously. It's the most important. Your kids are never going to be this age again. And you only get this summer one time. So whatever's going on, protect that time, right? Put that as a priority, make that a priority. That's the reason we did this type of business in the first place, because you get to work your family and your life around your business. And you can work it around, but you have to be clear on setting boundaries. So decide what your family time is going to be and protect that. It's a non-negotiable. Someone wants to make an appointment during something that's your family time, you don't have, you're already booked. Your family's booked right? So decide what that time is going to be and then plug your business in around that. Well, plug your vacations in and your business. So, but business time, then that, the rest in terms of the days that you want to work, the time that you're available to do your agency bookings, your travel bookings, your business of working on your business, all the tasks that you need to do to run your business successfully, make sure that you have that time allocated as well. Like we have a rule, like we don't work on nights and weekends. We just don't. So uh, four o'clock central time, we pretty much shut it down and that's family time. In the summer, we changed it a little bit. We changed the hours a little bit and I've modified my schedule. So certain days we have for family time and certain days we have for business time, which is great. Um, and then that's where you have calendar availability. So if you are doing old school appointments, just you know have your written calendar, however you do it. If you're doing new school, think about an automated calendar. It works fantastic because if you have an automated calendar, you go in, you block your family time, you block the time that you're gonna be on vacation, you send your client a link and say, hey, here's where you can book with me, right? Um, and so automatically they can't book outside of the times that you've already set your boundaries up, you've already committed to your family and your vacations. So that's a that's my a couple of my great tips in terms of making sure you're not overwhelming yourself through the summertime. The other piece is, you know, with your kids, depending on ages, set up some type of chore chart, some type of schedule. Are they gonna do any summer camps? Think about that stuff now. Take like an hour to figure that out, you know, put whatever structure you're gonna put in place and then roll it out to your kids like you would roll it out to the people that work for you. Like, hey kids, here's gonna be your schedule. Mommy has this time that she's working in the office, so I need y'all folding your laundry or I need you cleaning your room or whatever you have set up on that schedule. So we have set up chore time, we have set up lunch time, we have together and then, you know, in the afternoon we have family time and things like that. But whatever your thing is going to be in terms of your structure, you put a little pre-planning in place, it avoids the chaos of jumping into summer and just your house exploding with mess and <laughs> you feeling disorganized and not productive because, you know, for cash flow, and one of the things that we teach in our careers on vacation program is you want to manage your cash flow so it's pretty even all year long. So you don't have this huge, you know, influx in cash in summer. Of course, we that's great because people are traveling in the summer. And then all of a sudden the fall rolls in into town and you have no money coming in for commissions because you didn't think about it in April, May, June, July. So you didn't have any bookings going into place. Or same thing in summer. If you didn't have time to do your job because you had to, you know, be in 10 places at once with whatever's going on or it was disorganized, you weren't as productive as you hoped to be, then unfortunately that's going to show up in your bottom line and that's what we want to avoid. So, um, yeah, so have your boundaries, set up your scheduling process, roll out the plan to your kids and then have a productive, abundant, amazing summer. I wish you guys so much 
uh, abundance, so much love. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click a CTR for caught the replay below. And if you're thinking about really supersizing your travel business, reach out to us at careersonvacation.com and we would love to help you. You guys have a great summer. Take care. Thank you.